Hey guys, John here today, and I have a battle for you, and I'm sorry I have not uploaded in a very long time, but, um, yeah, I just wanted to make a few announcements. Uh, one is that, um, I'm kind of going to go into a situation here, or a period of time, for a while, where it's like videos will come on a when I can upload them basis. I have no uploading schedule, I'll upload them when I can. Um, hopefully I'll have black and white videos for you very soon, because I'm really working hard on that and um i've already you know got strategies formulated teams made so now i'm going to give you a segment called random battles stored on my hard drive from months and months and months ago where i made stupid mistakes and made stupid teams okay so right off the bat um i i had i have a sandstorm team and he has one and i roar because apparently that's setting up my stealth rocks just isn't a smart move here so anyways, he's going to Ice Beam, but since I'm a hippo, I know I can take that. And, um, I Earthquake? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking here. But I get the crit, so I guess it was good. Um, yeah. Oh, uh, anyways, guys, I just saw Saw 7. Just got back from it, saw the premiere. It was pretty sick. Go and see it. Um, and, uh, okay, here he goes outside Gyarados. <laughs> And I don't know what I was thinking. I'm like, you know what? I cannot have this thing setting up. So he goes straight for the attacking move. And I I think I roar here. And I, I don't know. I was just being stupid. Oh. And he goes out to a Breloom. And I, I mean, I'm shuffling his team around. Great. But there's no entry hazards up, which I could have done first turn. But whatever um he goes out to breloom and now he gets poisoned i'm like crap now he's gonna start sporing and all that i stand for sleep fodder and he seed bombs to kill me so i'm like okay good at least i get a free switch without you know him having a sub up and everything and me having an asleep hip out on well anyways um now i go up to aerodactyl who's my uh sandstorm sweeper who takes massive damage from the rocks and looking back at this now this is back when I didn't really understand the rules of certain Pokemon. You're not supposed to bring out your sweepers this early in the game, but apparently I thought it was a great option at the time. Oh man, you'll see me make so many mistakes in this battle. So I know the roar is coming here. <coughs> so I go for my best option, which is Aqua Tail. Oh, it doesn't really do crap. And this hippo becomes more of a problem than it should. Because this whole team is just physical attackers, except for Fire Blast on Aerodactyl. So I really am put in like a position where I can't do crap to this hip out on. Now I'm pulled out to my Tyranitar. I think this is Dragon Dance Tyranitar. Not too sure. But um Yeah, um then I go out to Flygon. Because Flygon can handle I, I don't know. It, it's, your guys' guess is as good as mine is what I was thinking here. My thought process was just so bad. This was like the beginning of this is when like I started using Smogon sets, but I didn't know about how to make teams well. Oh my god, I went for the Outrage. Why would I do... Okay, um, yeah, this is back when, like, I started using Smogon teams, but I didn't know what synergy was and how certain Pokemon work well with each other. I just thought, Sandstorm team, use Ground, Steel, and Rock-type pokes, and you'll be set. Doesn't matter who they are, doesn't matter which ones they are, just use them. Oh my gosh, and I go for the Superpower. I always used to get mad, too. I'd be like, why does everyone like Choice Banded Caesar so much? He doesn't do crap for me. And now I realize, like, if I had just U-turn there, it would have been just as effective. And now I'm like, okay, I think I'm praying for a crit here, because I know he's going to slack off. And you know what? I go for the superpower again, and it does not kill him. <sighs> wow. I'm surprised I won any battles back then. Um. Oh, yeah, this guy. This guy, I know who he is. I'll put a link to his channel in the description. He's actually, um, a, he's a pretty cool guy. He's one of those guys, he added me on his, um, Skype. And, um, yeah, so we had a bunch of battles, and this was one of them. But this is also, yeah, again, this is back when I kind of sucked. And, whew, oh my gosh, what, what, what was I doing here? I go out to Flygon, because, um, Flygon, his earthquake must just be that great. Um, he's gonna roar me out, and I'm going to Caesar, and I'm like, okay. And I'm thinking right here, I'm like, this would have been another perfect opportunity to U-turn. Guess what? I stay in Bullet Punch. Weird. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, the, the point of, uh, 
me also doing a lot of these videos is because I want to get these things off my hard drive before I start loading it with black and white battles. But um, don't worry, that doesn't mean I'm just going to do all these videos, like a bunch of 4th gens, because there's some I'm not even going to upload. Like some that, you know, I faced people and... Oh, now I go out, This was the smartest move I made all match. I go out to my Magnet Rise Magnet... Oh, hang on a minute. <clears throat> uh, sorry, I'm like pretty sick right now, so... Um, my nose is getting really stuffy, but anyways, I have a Magnet Rise Magnet Zone with Hidden Power Grass so that he can hit Swampert and hit Powdown, and I'm able to Magnet Rise and bait the Earthquake, and then I'm able to, um, Hidden Power Grass him away. So, actually, this Magnet Zone was really smart, and then he goes out to Jirachi, and, oh my gosh, I substitute here. I don't know why. Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> but, um, I did it, and, uh... Maybe I thought Thunderbolt could two hit KO him because I thought he was like a scarf. Oh, that's what it, I thought he was a scarf set, but um, turns out he's not. So this Thunderbolt's not gonna really do crap. I mean, just look at this. Even though Magnezone is like a great, he's like a beast at special attacking. I mean, Magnezone's way underplayed. But um, again, this was like a great smoke on set, like really made really well and stuff. It was just on a team that didn't work well with it. Like, but he's going to Fire Punch, and I know Tyranitar can take it. This was a really risky move, because that has a 20% burn rate with Jirachi's Serene Grace. So if my Tyranitar was burned, he would have been useless. So anyways, he's going to wish here. Thinking I, I oh, Earthquake, because, I don't know, I guess some sets carry Earthquake on uh, Tyranitar, to be fair enough, but he just wishes... And, um, I'm gonna go into my Flygon. I used to use Flygon a lot back then. Like, I thought he was awesome. But I Earthquake him, and that's gonna kill him. Ah, <coughs> uh, sorry. And I get a crit. So, I don't know how much that mattered. But, um, Max Attack, um, Scarf Flygon. I think it can KO a bulky Jirachi. I'm not sure on that. <coughs> But I go for the Earthquake, because that's smart to, you know, stand on a Choice Banded Caesar and just try and Earthquake him to death. But I figure out, this this is a weird set. It's like a leftover Caesar. I've never seen one of those before. I always see the Life Orb Sweeper, the Choice Scarf, or the Choice Band. But, um, so I'm thinking Choice Band still for some reason. Maybe I didn't see his Life Orb, or sorry, his uh, leftovers. So I'm thinking, oh, I can just uh, trap him with Magnezone. And, oh, crap, he's the, uh, he's a leftovers variant. And so, he does not have any fighting moves on this guy. Well, I'm like, okay, good, because now I can substitute, because that wasn't risky. And, um, yeah, I don't know, I guess I just kind of thunderbolt him to death, except I don't know if that even, yeah. He's going to exit, that's the best move he has on his Caesar to hit me for damage right now. I don't know what kind of Caesar this is, so, um... Yeah, so it's got, like, Bullet Punch, Next Scissor, something else, I'm guessing, but uh, probably U-Turn. Uh, that'd be kind of redundant, though. Oh, well, point is, he dies, and I've got a substitute up. Now, the reason that I s just went for the T-Bolt here is because I didn't want him setting a sub up, and I knew that Thunderbolt could, like, break his sub. <coughs> oh, I'm really sorry, guys. Um... I didn't want him having a sub up, so I figured if I lose my Magnezone, at least I can go out to something that can um, KO him with him not having a sub up. So I'm like, oh crap, he's going to spore here. He just goes for the seed bomb to take me out, so I'm like, that's pretty sweet because now I can go into something to counter him. And um, I'm pretty sure right here I go into my Aerodactyl, I want to say. You know what the funny thing is? A lot of narrators out there, they'll be like, oh, well, um, I should really pre-watch my battles. But I do pre-watch my battles. I just forget them. The, oh, yeah, I go into Flygon. I outrage because I'm like, yeah, outrage is an awesome attack to lock yourself into. But it's not. It sucks. The only reason outrage is really on Flygon is because of that whole era of, um, you know, of um, dragons, like when Salamence and all them and La Latios was around, Flygon could KO them with uh, outrage. But... There's really no point in now, but anyways, his Gyarados is going to take me out. Which I'm glad he didn't set, set up, because that would have been a problem. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, I'm going to uh, go out to my Aerodactyl, who I know is faster now. 
and uh, I'm going to kill him. So I, I don't even know how I managed to pull out this win. But, uh, hey, looks like Gyarados is actually flying, too. <laughs> what ridiculous type. Oh, um, yeah. Now on to my um, question of the Sorry, my video just really glitched there. Um, question of the day. Today, I went to see Saw 7. I want to know what's your... We're getting close to Halloween. What's your favorite horror movie, okay? So uh, leave a comment or... Yeah, an interesting comment below, and um, yeah, hope I hopefully I can bring you some more playthroughs, black and white. I, I'm I'm working on it, guys. Uh, but thanks for subscribing. So remember, rate, comment, and get your friends to sub and everything. Yeah, be cool like that. So uh, peace.